The first step to increasing your speed is improving your bike skills. Whether it's ascending or descending, improving your balance, precision, and control will make you faster and more efficient. Trials is a sport that truly emphasizes these three skills, so practicing some basic trial skills can elevate your level of mountain bike riding. In this video, we'll cover four basic trials techniques and concepts that will directly translate into on-the-trail skills. Practicing balance will improve your ability to negotiate tight technical ascents and descents, as well as improve your overall bike control and handling skills. Balance is a skill that doesn't require you to be on the trail to practice. Practicing in your driveway or garage is a great place to learn and refine your skills. Start by practicing with flat pedals or tennis shoes on your clipless pedals because at first it can be a steep learning curve. It is best to start next to the curb so that you can turn your front tire into the curb. This will help you get the feeling of making small weight adjustments through the pedals. Once you get more comfortable with the front tire against the curb, you can move to practicing without any assistance which will significantly increase the difficulty. Make fine adjustments by turning the handlebars and more substantial adjustments through weighting the pedals. Wheelies and manuals are good for a lot more than just impressing your buddies on the way to the trail. Climbs often feature obstacles such as rocks, roots, and trees. Rather than going around them, or even worse, walking your bike up them, a small wheelie can often do the trick. Start by putting power down with your dominant foot while simultaneously shifting your hips back. Keep your arms extended, allow your weight and pedal power to lift the front wheel. You'll want to start your wheelie about a foot or foot and a half before the obstacle and focus your eyes on top of the obstacle. Maintain your momentum as the front wheel clears the obstacle and allow the rear wheel to track up. This same concept can be applied to descents as well. Obstacles can often come at you faster than you can avoid them when descending. So rather than running straight into the obstacle, lifting the front wheel with a manual can often prevent you from being knocked off your line. Lift the front wheel by moving your knees forward and then snapping them back and shifting your weight to the rear of the bike. In this case, you'll start your manual about four to five feet ahead of the obstacle and keep your weight over the rear wheel as it hits the obstacle, and this will prevent you from bucking over the front of the bars. Rock gardens come in all different shapes and sizes, but the same basic technique still applies. After selecting a line that you're comfortable with, you'll want to get your body in an attack position on the bicycle. Squat down and shift your weight towards the rear of the bike. Keep your elbows up and grip the bars firmly, but keep the rest of your body loose and allow the bike to move underneath you. Rock gardens can often knock you offline, so be prepared to improvise when things don't go to plan. Start slow and learn how the bike reacts, and as you become more comfortable, you can increase your speed and start to skim through the rocks. My personal favorite move is the nose wheelie. Not only does the nose wheelie look cool, it is also functional. This move requires a lot of practice before you can apply it on the trail. Begin by rolling at a low speed and compressing your rear suspension. As the suspension rebounds, shift your weight forward by dipping your knees into the front of the bike while gently applying the front brake. Keep your elbows slightly bent and put pressure on the bars. Be aware of the terrain. If it's loose or slippery, the front wheel will lock up and slide. Start small. Too much front brake can also cause the front wheel to slide or even worse, throw you over the bars. Once you become comfortable with this move, you can move the rear wheel left or right to help you get around tight switchbacks. When used properly, these skills can help you ride faster and more controlled. For more riding tips, check out the Art Cyclery YouTube channel.